Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to start a new series that will be based on MediaPipe. So MediaPipe is basically a library that is given to us by Google. Uh, in this, we can do various tasks. For example, we can do a lot of vision tasks. In that, we can do object detection, image classification, segmentation, interactive segmentation, gesture recognition, so on and so forth. So, so there are so many things that we can do. We can do some of the text based tasks even for example test classification text embedding language detection uh, basic stuff like audio classification and all those things these two uh, obviously the gen ai are kind of experimental as you can see over here and i'm almost certain they'll not be given for python yes they are not there for python okay so uh, basically we are going to start with this uh, particular uh, series in this i will try to complete as many things as i can um, so if you see over here, um, you know, there are so many things, there's task, there's the model maker. So basically what you'll have here is you'll be having, uh, let's say some kind of a open CV, uh, uh, or in, uh, inferencing kind of a model where, where let's say you are, uh, you are, you have implemented something in PyTorch and then you, uh, convert it into an, o, an, an X format and then use it with open CV or let's say some, there are various ways by which you can use OpenCV for inferencing on uh, vision tasks. Okay, so something like that, but uh, here they have made the models in-house, which is basically, and one more important thing about MediaPipe is that it will be mostly used, it is mostly used on edge uh, devices, which means that uh, devices like, uh, you know, Raspberry Pi, Arduino and those kinds of stuff where there is a real memory crunch, where there's not much of a compute power, which means that we will be able to easily use these kind of models on our CPU also, we'll not even be needing GPUs and all those things. Okay. So that is going to be definitely one thing. So it comes with basically two benefits. Number one is that um, the code is going to be smaller. Uh, it's going to be very implementable and uh, understandable. And secondly, the models are going to be uh, very, very, very small, quantized, hopefully, which basically means we'll be able to run them on our local machine. So these are the two benefits that we get. So these are the basic things, media pipe tasks and media pipe models. Models, again, I said, they are already pre-trained, ready to run, as they say, for use with each solution. I think over some in some places, there are solutions where you can use multiple models, but we will definitely be getting into that okay so it also lets you customize and evaluate solutions so this definitely seems to be a very interesting topic that we'll be covering okay and then there is media pipe studio may not be using that often because you know we are smart enough to use our own uh, visualization and evaluation techniques we might not need it but let's say if we need it we will definitely look into that so what are the available solutions so we have already seen some so I think Android has all of them, okay, but uh, when it comes to Python, this LLM inference API is not there, obviously I had expected that, and image generation is not there, correct. And rest everything is there, but we will try to see ways by which, you know, we can also uh, see some web, uh, let's see, will we be able to do that or not, depends, okay. Um, there are some legacy solutions over here that we had to implement, you know, I never made a series on this, but yes, I did uh, practice on these before. Uh, there is phase detection, which was earlier just as it says phase detection. Then there was phase mesh, basically landmarks. Yeah, they have also named it as uh, phase landmark detection. Iris is again phase landmark detection. Hands, pose, pose is basically your uh, body. And the holistic, um, some of them have, you know, as they say, the uh, support has ended. Maybe these are not very useful. That's why or people uh, do not demand this so much, but whatever the case is. Okay. So, yeah, this is what is going to be our plan of phase stylization experimental okay whatever so in the next video we'll be starting with hopefully i'll be trying to give you a basic overview okay these things otherwise we'll directly start with the vision tasks in which we will do object detection so let's see what's going to be the objective of the first video uh so you know please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye